Hello, and today I'll be... Starting a playthrough on Terraria. It's a interesting game. It's a bit like Minecraft, but 2D instead, so... Should be interesting. <sighs> so, same a uh, 2D sandbox game with a rather large emphasis on the RPG side of things. So, here's your friendly guide. Interesting feature because this game you get, unlike Minecraft, you get NPCs that will actually do something. Well, I say that now. Tony, as you can see, in an, rather an interesting. Yeah, look, copper. Nice to start off with. But if you notice, as soon as you start, you get quite a few. Well, you get three tools to start off with, and that's. An interesting feature. So, well, I'll just start off your game a bit. So now I'll start exploring for things. Found some iron already. Interesting thing about this game is the the way in which items that you craft get bonuses so annoyingly. This is an unhappy copper pickaxe. How a uh, pickaxe can be unhappy, I don't know, but minus buffs all the way. So anyway. the right, off to the left there I mean, is the slime. That's the in the game. And then when it's necessary, from at least the first part of the game. So, slimes drop something called gel, which is used to make torches, among other things, and later in the game, sticky bombs. So, like Minecraft, you have TNT, which is annoying, to say the least. When your friends suddenly decide, it's fun to blow things up. Also, as you can see, this game has bunny rabbits. Rather cute and fluffy. And killable. Oh, well, that's just tolerable. Oh, bunny rabbit. Another interesting thing about this game is that you just have to take out the bottom part of a tree for the entire tree to fall over, so fairly useful feature.
Dig out the foundations. Interesting thing about this game is also that you can make houses for your NPCs, so you can have, I think, on other words, I've got houses full of NPCs, because on this game, NPCs are really useful. Because you can get, like, on the game, a merchant and a gun merchant and all sorts of things. But anyway, I'll see more about them when. They show up. Another interesting thing is that on this game, your money is actually stored in a separate part of your inventory so that it doesn't take up an inventory space just for money. Which, as you can imagine, would be annoying. See so yeah, how this is your. how you craft. That's with a bunny rabbit. Hopefully this one won't die. So as you can see it's a fairly interesting crafting system where you like the Minecraft for Xbox, but this was first of course. So this one doesn't need you to display this one doesn't need you to arrange blocks in a certain pattern it oh, oh that's just No. Damn it. Yeah, so this one doesn't need you to arrange blocks in a specific pattern, it just needs you to put them, or just have them in your inventory and then it can craft pretty much anything. Now that's just annoying. Another interesting thing about this game is that when you actually hold torches in your inventory on, on the hot on the hot bar key thing, it does actually hold them in your hand in the game, so your character can actually just run around mines just holding out torches to illuminate. So now another interesting thing about this is despite it being only 2D, you can still make a fairly interesting house because you need walls to go in the background of your house to actually allow NPCs to stay in there so and so now I can okay so as you can see NPCs need valid housing, so you'll also need a chair. No, oh, darn it. Whoa. Something. By the way, now I need to craft a hammer to destroy the chair. Now uh, there should be suitable house for the guide, and there we go. He already decided to move in. And there we go, the house is done. Another interesting thing is that you can destroy any block in a certain radius without having to bother about well 
being able to actually physically reach it. And hopefully now I'll have enough to make a furnace. No, I don't. Unfortunately, NPCs are rather silly, so it's stuck down there because he can't jump. There we go, now he can make his way home. No, he can't. Why? No, no, no. Silly, silly. Another interesting thing about this game is that it has finite water. Interesting to say the least. And here we go. Enemies at night, uh. Annoying. And a heck of a load harder to beat than the ones in the day. So, this is a demon eye who flies around and annoys the heck out of you. Now, so I said, Oh, 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 see, let me grab it. And this game has an interesting feature where zombies actually try to break down your door. Happy fun times. Fortunately on this game, your health regens rather. No. Well, it regens. Don't know, Bunny Rabbit. No. Come over here. There are zombies outside. No. Yes. Yeah, I bet it's not going to make it, is it? Oh, there are two of them. Oh, and it's getting Che. Oh, it's dead. Oh, sweet. Oh, run! Run! They just don't get the point, do they? Bunny killer. Uh. Oh, you, you sicker. You, you make me sick. Even though you, you make me sick. Uh. No, don't you dare go in there. No, no.
Uh huh. A furnace. Finally. As you can see, this doesn't require us. Crafting system on Minecraft is a lot more on Terraria. It's a lot more easier than it is on Minecraft because you don't need to have coal to power your furnaces. Oh dear, more zombies. He's missing his hair and the top part of his head. Come on! Die, sticky zombies! And as you can see, the night is only halfway through, so we still have plenty of fun. Also interesting, you can store money in your chest. It's making it a lot easier because now if I die, I won't lose my money. Shooting stars. Collect not fallen stars. Interesting because if you collect ten of them, then you can increase your mana by twenty. Why? Why do these bunnies go out at night? <laughs> and as you can see, Terraria has a rather interesting sense of humour. And tombstones. Fortunately, when you die, the only thing you can lose is money. When you pick, well, if you have my character style, which is called soft core. If you pick medium core, you can lose items. Hard core, I think your world gets deleted. Though I can't remember exactly. Well, 
Is that is that a bunny chasing a zombie? I hope it is. Nobody, don't go. Did they never listen to me? Now I can explore without the